My name is Kelly Hogan and I'm a marine geophysicist at the British Antarctic Survey. It's a really exciting time for UK polar science because the Sir David Attenborough has a huge range of new facilities and capabilities and the best instruments and equipment that we can think of and put together in one place. So we'll be able to use her as a platform to study the polar regions and the oceans there from top to bottom, from the atmosphere all the way to the deep sea. It's so hard to pick just one cool or exciting example from the Sir David Attenborough, but maybe I can give you two. The first would maybe be the scientific moon pool, which is basically a hole in the ship that goes all the way down to the surface of the ocean. And what that means is that we can deploy instruments, and that could be a biological net, or it could be something that samples the seafloor, even when you're sitting in the middle of icy seas or in sort of rough weather. So that's really exciting, going to improve our ability to collect data and observations at all times. The second thing that I wanted to say was maybe the ability to deploy marine robotics or autonomous vehicles from the ship. So these new state-of-the-art technologies that can go off and collect observations and collect data in places that we can't get to in a ship and we can send them off from the Sir David Attenborough and they can go and survey around icebergs or underneath bits of floating ice, places we simply can't go to in a big ship.